Here today to talk to you about chain slings. We're gonna talk about the basic components of a chain sling, everything that goes along with it, plus the verbiage and nomenclature that you might see on a quota order that you get. have a chain sling in my hand here. So to talk about the basic components, any overhead lifting chain sling needs to have a tag. And on that tag, you will have a serial number, you'll have the grade of the chain, you will also have the length of the chain. You will see the working load limit at the specified angle and the number of legs on the tag. If you're missing any of these pieces of information, remove this sling from service. Now, for this chain sling I have in my hand, we have sling hooks at the bottom. We've got 930 seconds chain. You always want to make sure you've got the measurement of your chain. We got our tag and we have our collector ring, master ring, oblong ring, different, different names for it. Any chain sling is going to have to be grade 80, grade 100, or grade 120. Those are the only grades that are allowed for overhead lifting. So on this chain sling, we've got grade 80. And when we measure a chain sling for its length, we want to measure from the top bearing point of the master ring or whatever component is at the top that we have in our hand to the bottom of the bearing point of a hook or whatever piece we have at the bottom of our chain sling. So this one, we've got a three foot chain sling, bearing point to bearing point. This is a mechanical, it's got hammer locks and clevis style hooks at the bottom. There may be different components at the bottom of your chain sling. Right here, we've got a two leg chain sling. Any sling hooks are gonna have latches on them, okay? You can also have grade grab hooks that actually go back into a link of chain. You can have foundry hooks, you can have J hooks, many different components at the bottom. Typically, you're gonna have an oblong ring up top like this that you see here. You could also have a circular ring. You could have a pair link, just different ways to have a collector ring up top. That was a basic chain sling. Now let's take a look at these two. They're the same exact chain sling that I just had, but different configurations. We've got adjusters on both of these. One of them has a foot of chain hanging off the collector ring that we could use for adjustment. This one has just a hammer lock and a grab hook for adjustment. People really like chain because it is adjustable. It's one of the best advantages of it. It's also extremely durable but at the same time, it's one of the most regulated pieces of equipment out there. We'll get into the verbiage now of the chain slings that you might see on an order, a quote, or a rigging inspection that you get. To talk about the verbiage or nomenclature of a chain sling, you might see a series of letters, three or four characters, DOG or DOS, you might see QOSA, QOSB, these all refer to chain slings, but let's go over to the easel here and take a look at exactly how we're gonna to put together that nomenclature when talking about a chain sling. The first letter that we're gonna have is going to be the number of legs of a chain sling. So, S, D, T, and Q, okay? Stands for single, double, triple, or quad, number of legs on a sling. Now for a, a single leg sling, it'll simply have two ends with say a grab hook or a sling hook on either end. For a double, triple, or quad, it'll have some kind of collector ring up top with those legs coming off of it. For the second letter in our verbiage, for a single leg sling, we're either gonna choose any end and denote exactly what is on that end. It may be a grab hook, it may be a sling hook. Even on a single leg sling, we can have an oblong ring on that end. So we would denote O for oblong ring. We would have S for a sling hook. We would have G for a grab hook. We would have F for a foundry hook. We would have J for a J hook. For the next part, we're just gonna talk about a single leg sling right now. In my hand, I've got an SGG. So it's a single leg, 
and it has a grab hook on each end. Now, if we had a sling hook on this end, it would be an SSG, a single leg with a sling hook on one end and a grab hook on the other. And any of those combinations we can do with an oblong ring, a sling hook, a grab hook, a foundry hook, or a J hook, whatever might be on that end. Either way, we're gonna start with S because it's a single leg, and then we're gonna denote exactly what's on each end. Moving on, let's talk about chain slings with two legs. In my hand, we would start off with D for double, double leg. I've got an oblong ring up top, so we would say D-O, and then at the bottom I've got sling hooks, so it'd be D-O-S, double oblong with sling hooks at the bottom, okay? I've also got right here, <clears throat> same configuration, but I got grab hooks at the bottom, okay? So double leg, D, oblong ring up top for O, and then G for the grab hooks at the bottom, D-O-G. Moving on, we're gonna talk about three legs and four legs, triple and quad. In my hand, I've got four legs with an oblong ring up top, and I've got sling hooks at the bottom. So, this would be a Q for quad, four legs, O, oblong ring up top, and S for sling hooks at the bottom, QOS. If this were a triple, we would be talking about three legs, T, oblong ring up top, O, with sling hooks at the bottom, TOS. Now that we've got the basics of our verbiage for a chain sling, let's throw in one little wrinkle. One of the best advantages of multi-leg chain slings is the adjustability factor that you can have. So in my hand, I've got little grab hooks up top attached to this collector ring. Now, we talked about the verbiage, two legs, oblong ring with sling hooks, a DOS, but then we're gonna add A for these little shorteners up top. Anytime that you've got shorteners about two inches from your collector ring, you're gonna have the designation of A at the end of your verbiage. So this would be a D-O-S-A. Now, <clears throat> on a chain sling like this, I've got about a foot of chain for adjusters hanging off of it. So again, I've got two legs for my main sling hooks here at the bottom. This would be a D-O-S, but with this foot of chain adjusters, I would have the designation of B at the end. So it'd be a D-O-S-B.